What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about lenses. So what is a camera lens? A camera lens is something which attaches to your camera and comes in a massive range of different styles and focal lengths to allow you to capture different images. The two main different styles of lenses are the zoom lens and a prime lens. A zoom lens basically means that you have a lens which you can zoom in and out and cover a range of different focal distances. So for example, this is a 50 to 140. So as you can see here, that's at 50 mil. I can zoom that in to 140 mil. And that means that it's gonna zoom in close to the subject and that's gonna zoom further away. Nine times out of 10 with the DSLR camera with an interchangeable lens, you get something called a kit lens. And that's usually like an 18 to 55 mil lens. So it covers a wide angle and also zoomed in. However, with things like the kit lenses, they have the variable aperture. What does the variable aperture mean? As you can see here on the front of the lens, it's got the focal lens, so the 50 to 140, and say it's an F2.8. With the kit lenses and things like that, it would have something like an F3.5 to 5.6. So when it's on the widest setting, like your 18 mil, that's gonna be an aperture of F3.5. So that's the most that you can stop that lens down to. However, when you zoom in and you go to your 55 millimeters, you zoomed in more to the subject, However, you're now stuck with an f5.6 to capture your images with. So obviously in low light, when you're using that, you're gonna be at f5.6, so you're gonna to have to raise your ISO further up to let in more light. And again, with that, that introduces more grain. So ideally, if you're shooting with a kit lens in low light, then you need to be on the 18 mil, so you can step that aperture right down to the f3.5. Not all zoom lenses are like that, however. You have fixed aperture lenses like this one here. So this is the f2.8. So no matter if I'm shooting at 50 mil or 140 mil, I can always step down to f2.8. I can change the setting here so I can go all the way up to f22 if I need to. However, if I still need to stay at f2.8, then I can. So again, at a live music event, I can have my ISO right the way down to keep away noise and I can have it on f2.8 and I can zoom in and out and that's not gonna change at all for my aperture. And the second kind of lens is a prime lens. So compared to a zoom lens, a prime lens has that fixed focal length. So for example, one of the most popular prime lenses for beginner photographers to get is the 50 mil f1.8. And that means it has a fixed focal length of 50 millimeters and you can get it down to f1.8. So instead of zooming into your subject, what you have to do is actually use your feet and walk towards the subject or walk further away. And that's how you use the zoom on a prime lens. Prime lenses come in a wide different variety of different focal lengths and apertures. So for example, the lens that we're using now on this camera to record, this is a 16 mil f1.4. And that is a fixed focal length of 16 mil, which is quite a wide angle. If you were taking images and you wanted to get in close to your subject, you'd either have to get the subject to bring closer to you, or you'd have to step further back from the subject. And that's how you do the zoom with the prime lens. And they come in a wide different variety of focal lens. So you can have a really wide angle lens, like we've got a 7.5 mil, which is pretty much a fisheye lens, really wide, really good for live music and different things like that. Something a bit different as well to get different environment and portraits. And you can go all the way up the other spectrum. So you've got your 100 mil macro, so that's a 100 mil focal lens. And a lot of people use that for portraiture as well. And for wildlife and other things like that, you can get 400 mil focal lens. And those are all fixed on that focal length. That is your two different categories of lenses, so your prime and your zoom lenses. And the age-old question comes back again about what camera to buy is the same as what lens to buy. It all depends on what you're shooting and how you want to shoot it. So for example, you want to shoot weddings, they need something like a 2470 or 24105. That gives a massive focal range, so no matter where you are, you can zoom in and out and Generally, they come with like an f2.8 aperture or an f4, so you can you can get away with it. Or there's something like the 7200, which is my 50 to 140 on the crop sensor. That's really good. That goes on f2.8. It gives you a massive zoom range. However, on the wide angle, you can't really get into it. And again, with the portraitures, like I said, the most popular lens for beginners is probably the 50 mil f1.8 lens, which is sometimes known as the nifty 50. There's a lot of people who use it for portraiture. And because it's an f1.8, you can shoot that in low light and you can also get a very narrow depth of field. So you can focus on the eyes and get everything else out of focus, which is really good for portraits. The other thing which a lot of people use is the 85 mil. So you can get a range of different 85 mil. So you can get something like uh, an 85 f1.2 for Canon. I think that's a couple of grand. Or you can get the 85, I think it's an f1.8 for Canon, which is a couple hundred pound so again depends on your budget as to what lens you can go for as well and that's the end of the lenses video and the next video we're going to be talking about flash